move my microphone decided to play up in a couple of sections of this video this being one of them but as you can see it's a lovely looking tench and absolutely over the moon I was with this for my first tench trip £7.9 absolute glorious condition tinker picture book and picture perfect textbook looking gloriously built and very stout £7.9 and that was taken on lobworm in a little mesh bag of maggots and the light feeding of the grilled hemp ground bait that I use very very pretty condition very nicely built not actually a very spotless fish not a scow out of place how you'd expect a tinker to look yes I was really really happy with this fish A corking tinker, absolute pearl, mint condition. Let's keep her that way and get her slip back. Right, I'll just run you through the rig that I'm using, what baits I'm using etc and what ground bait I'm using. Now my rigs aren't anything special, you guys know me, I'd rather locate fish, use a nice simple rig and in my case I like to stick to, if I can, a low resistance running setup. So I'll show you what I'm using today. If the brambles let me show you. <laughs> anyway, right, so main line is 10 pound Graylon, that's Gray's Graylon got 1200 meters of that for five pounds very good line very nice and slick it's a hybrid line it seems very good abrasion resistance nice strength to it I still use Technium Evisitech on my barbel tackle but on my tench gear and these particular bait runners that I'm using which are the Shimano Oceanics I've got the Grey's Grey on now simple setup nice light hook link material this is Preston Innovations Exceed hook link material that's um, £7.12 if I'm not mistaken so either £7.12 or £8.6 breaking strain little anti-tangle kicker there to keep everything nice and neat push the rig away from the actual lead or in this case stones um, I'll lead on to that in a minute quick change run ring nice and low resistance this is a two ounce Palatrax stones now, as the name would suggest and as you can clearly see it is a stone which is great, nice way to be caring for the environment, nice alternative to lead. And these are, these are absolutely lovely because they're quite porous, you can soak them in your glugs and they really do soak up the flavour. Or use them as a method feeder, squeeze your ground bait, pack bait around that. And of course, as I say, one of the main things, it's not lead, so it is more safe for the environment in my opinion. Now the Palatrax stones, that's stones with a Z-E, stones. And this is a two ounce one as well. Now also on top of that being a stone, fishing gravel pits, fishing on rivers, gives a good natural presentation as well. Doesn't look as unwieldy as a lead. Right, leading down to that, I've got a size 10 Palatrax the hook. So as you can see, quick change run ring, quick low resistance, I can switch that off to a feeder if I want to. But in this case, using a two ounce stones. Anyway, um, yep, so bait wise, that particular fish, that I just had was on a lobworm, simple lobworm, tipped with maggot, bottom of the towel, clipped off, and that was actually glugged in win win lobworm solution. That's literally liquid lobworms. So that was glugged in that, gives a bit of added attraction, and just simple, as I say, lobworm, single maggot, and then all I'm doing is using PVA mesh, filling that up with the plunger and filling the little mesh bags up with the maggots. I'm clipping that on the hook link and casting it out. Not going out too far, around about 24 yards, maybe a little bit more than that, 24, 25 yards. Uh, I've had fish rolling today, earlier in the morning, and getting plenty of liners, so I knew there was fish moving about. And yeah, nice to have that lovely, lovely looking tench. Now ground bait wise, Ground bait wires is a quite a heavy mix. 
that's maggots, casters, that liquidized bread, and in that as well you've got the grilled hemp and nut ground bait, which many of you will have seen on my barbel videos. So it's mixed in with that, and there's molasses, so you've got a lovely sweet centrale, and there's also some bird seed, not too much, not gone too heavy with the bird seed, not gone that heavy with the casters and maggots, don't want to get them too preoccupied. And just balling that out using a nice strong River King catapult. These are lovely, lovely and strong catapults. You can easily, if you want to, you can easily get 90, 80 to 90 meters um, with balls of ground bait. And that's what I've been glugging the lobworm in. That's win win pure liquid lobworm. This is sold by Willie's Worms. And that contains 45 worms in every bottle. Very pure very pure and very concentrated and it's also PVA safe so you can glug your PVA which is what I was doing with the maggots I was glugging the PVA mesh and the lobworm with that as well so that worked out quite nicely and that's a bit very similar this is to the ACE if any of you remember the old ACE lobworm liquid worm uh, additive but this is a lot thicker it's a lot more like gravy very very good quality and I'm not being paid to promote this I don't want you guys thinking I'm being paid to promote it I bought that and it's very good I would buy it again I like the consistency now the other rod I did have uh, a boilie on there but I've changed it round to the following and that's Palatrax squabs jungle pop-ups now these are nice 10 millimeter pop-ups and they're a mixture of coconut peanut and tiger nut decided to just change from that and I've just glugged that lightly in matching glug now you've got to see this this glug's really something else um, it's more like a hair gel a lot more like a hair gel look at that be, it doesn't want to come out now you can microwave that or heat it up and it can you can make it thinner and more runny that's a really nice thick glug that you know leaks off a good centrale but doesn't wash away too quickly and once again that matches as I say the jungle squabs also got these which are their jungle squab bottom baits nice elliptical shape and as I say that's tiger nut peanut and coconut and I've got pop-up on at the moment it's getting liners on the other body that I had on um, but nothing to show for it so I did decide to recast I was sitting on my hands for a while so I have recast that but yeah that's my setup and that's the same setup on both rods and yeah just been nice to get that fish to be fair very very welcome nice to always get your eye in always always a wonderful feeling and I haven't been able to get down to the <laughs> to the still water like I would have hoped as soon because I managed to stupidly twist my ankle a couple of weeks back well, you know it amazes me how, how we injure ourselves in such such silly ways. I'm stepping out onto the back of the patio and just backed out the sliding door and missed my <laughs> shoes and twisted my ankle like a pillock. But there you go. Anyway, I'm not going to waffle on. Let's see if there's some more fish, but if there isn't, there isn't. Uh, there's an angler set up in the swim next to me. He was um, actually raking the swim, his swim, when I had the um, take and he came into the swim. He said, What are the odds of that? And yeah, very, very fortuitous. But, you know, helps as well to you know you try and make your own luck a bit as well and you always need a bit of fortune in my opinion so yeah it was really nice to have that fish and it wasn't it picture perfect anyway let's get this rod back out if there's another fish today I'm gonna be gonna be going around about half seven ish so if there's another fish that would be nice but at the end of the day fish for a bite I would have been quite happy with just having my first trip having a few line bites so to get a fish as always a bonus and that was really a quite a nice bonus at that what the old moor hens are about they've been making a few nests going back and forth and feeding their young saw a buzzard early a couple of woodpeckers as well which flew over to that 
knackered looking tree or dead tree over there and of course a good old heron that flew across and went over to the lake over the back so very very nice to be out just wonderful Well, he's getting a bit to the witching hour, but as is the case, I've got to pack up and head for home. Uh, it's been really enjoyable, nice to finally get out tench fishing. Nice to put a fish on the bank, always a bonus. And it's been just really, really thoroughly enjoyable. Pity about the other fish, went right down to my knee in silt, my right leg. So I end up in quite a <laughs> kind of compromising pose as I went to strike and didn't really get a full strike on it but that's the way it goes it's been really nice it's been great to be able to get out as I said earlier always nice to have you guys along and you know for me just being out you know that is special catching a fish on top a bonus if it's a nice decent fish even better that's my ethos you know you know be passionate about what you do but ultimately enjoy it Anyway, as I say, I have got to go, so I've got to be going quite quite rapidly. I do hope you've enjoyed the video, guys. And if you have, it'd be most appreciated to give it, if you would give it a thumbs up, that would be very welcome. And share it on your group pages, your Instagram, Facebook group pages, or your um, websites, fishing websites. That would be most, most greatly appreciated and helps the channel to grow. You'd be doing me an immense favour. Um, yeah, it's just, as always, really nice and the majority of you chaps that enjoy the videos far outweigh the bad fruit as such so thank you very much for that and if you're not subscribed click the subscribe button and the bell icon that way you'll be kept up to date with all my latest videos and when I upload them and also a healthy back catalogue of older videos to look back at and quite a few minutes to watch in general if you're new to the channel anyway I best get heading home as I say, hope you've enjoyed the video and wherever you're fishing at the moment during this springtime, I hope you're having a, an enjoyable and fulfilling time. Anyway, take care guys. See you next time.